to watch the full lecture of all subjects kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon because whenever i post the new videos you will get the immediate notifications hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this particular video we'll solve one more problem in which they have asked us to find the cost of ppe and then we have to do the depreciation as well as we have to find out the carrying value the question is on the screen please pause the video and write down the question or at least take the screenshot of the question. It's better that you try to solve along with me. ABC Limited Company purchased the laptop for 1,50,000. So 1,50,000 delay purchase price. It pays an additional 7,000 towards GST, which is non-refundable. 7,000 GST, it is a non-refundable. Non-refundable GST should be added. The company gets a trade discount of 5%. Only the trade discount should be considered. Yavagli trade discount na matha nawu consider manbe kagate. The company paid 11,000 technical charges. Yes, technical charges is a directly attributable cost. So we will add that. 7,000 towards software installation charges. 7,000 software installation charges in the payment. It is a directly attributable expenses. So we are considering it. Then 5,000 every year towards AMC. So annual maintenance charge amc means annual maintenance charge and annual maintenance charge is not a directly attributable expenses so we are not considering we are ignoring the life of the asset is five years they are given calculate the carrying value at the end of the first year first we need to find out the cost of ppe for that first we have to consider the purchase price the purchase price is one lakh fifty thousand purchase price is one lakh fifty thousand for that purchase price, we need to deduct trade discount. Trade discount. Trade discount, they have told it is 5%. So, 5% on what? 5% on 1,50,000. So, 1,50,000 into 5%. So, 5% on 1,50,000. So, 1,50,000 into 5% will be 7500 so that 7500 i need to deduct from 150000 when i detect i will get the net purchase price so we will get the net purchase price so 150000 minus 7500 will be 142500 this is our net purchase price from that net purchase price, we will add non-refundable GST. So, they have given that the company paid, here they have given the company paid an additional 7,000 towards GST, which is non-refundable. So, GST cut to the non-refundable. So, non-refundable taxes. So, they have paid 7,000. For this, we need to add the directly attributable expenses. Directly attributable expenses na add money. What are the directly attributable expenses? The first one is technical charges. Technical charges is eleven thousand. So first one is technical charges. Technical charges is eleven thousand. Second, second thing what they have told software installation charges it is seven thousand. So software installation charges 7000 7000 rupees is a software installation charges any other expenses they we have annual maintenance charges we have to ignore that so now when we add all these things we will get cost of ppe so 142500 plus 7000 plus 11000 plus 7000 we will get 167500 so 167500 is cost of pp now we need to calculate the depreciation the formula to calculate depreciation is cost of pp minus residual value in question they have not given any kind of residual value so need not bother divided by life of the asset what is the cost of pp cost of pp is 
one lakh sixty seven thousand five hundred. We have no residual value, so zero. So one lakh sixty seven thousand five hundred minus zero divided by five. When you do, you get thirty three thousand five hundred. So thirty three thousand five hundred is the depreciation for how many years? It is a depreciation for one year. So each year we will depreciate thirty three thousand five hundred. Now we need to find out the carrying value at the end of first year. So what is the cost of PPE? Cost of PPE is one lakh sixty seven thousand five hundred. So one lakh sixty seven thousand five hundred. From that we need to deduct the depreciation. So value of depreciation is thirty three thousand five hundred. Thirty three thousand five hundred. So from one lakh sixty seven thousand five hundred. If we minus thirty three thousand five hundred, we get one lakh thirty four thousand. This is the carrying value at the end of first year. Hope you have understood how to solve the problem. If you have any doubt while practicing this problem, please put your all doubts and queries in the comment box so that I can respond to your doubts and queries as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the video. I will come back with the next video. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.